Do you recognize this? It is an electric circuit. An electric circuit is the path along which an electric current flows. An electric current, in turn, is made up of electrons flowing through a conductor. What happens when the switch is closed? The current starts to flow and the bulb glows. That's right. But does the bulb tell us how much current is flowing in a circuit? Hmm. A light bulb tells us that an electric current is flowing in a circuit, but it cannot show how much current is flowing through a circuit. To measure the current, we use an instrument called an ammeter, just like we use a physical balance to measure the mass of an object. The unit for electric current is called the ampere, denoted by a capital A. An ammeter is connected in series in a circuit. Its positive terminal, colored as red, is connected to the positive terminal of the source, which is a cell here. The negative terminal, colored as black, is connected to the negative terminal of the cell. When switch is closed, the deflection of the needle shows how much current is flowing through the circuit. Wow! A current of 1 ampere is moving through the circuit. But what causes the current to flow? That is an excellent question, Spikey. The current flows in a circuit due to electrical potential difference or voltage. Let's take a closer look to explain this concept. The flow of electrons through a wire can be compared to the flow of water in a pipe. Consider two cans of water, one on the floor and the other on the table connected through a pipe. Which direction do you think the water will flow? Up or down? Because water in the higher can has more potential energy, water will flow from the higher can into the lower can. Water cannot flow from the lower can to the upper can. Similarly, current flows from higher electric potential to lower electric potential. The difference of potential between two points in a circuit or battery is called electrical potential difference or voltage. Voltage is denoted by V. This potential difference causes the electrons to move through the wire. Here, the two points refer to the positive and negative terminals of the battery. The unit of voltage is the volt. This is measured by an instrument called a voltmeter. The voltmeter is connected parallel with the circuit. Its positive terminal is connected to the positive terminal of the battery and the negative terminal is connected to the negative terminal of the battery. Just like an ammeter, the positive terminal of the voltmeter can be identified by a red color and the negative terminal by a black color. When switch is closed, the deflection of the needle shows the voltage across the circuit. The potential difference in the circuit is 1 volt. Does the current flow smoothly through the wire? No. Every conductor resists the flow of current in some way just like how some pipes allow water to flow more smoothly than others. This property is called resistance. Resistance is the hindrance to the flow of current. The resistance to the flow of current by each conductor is different. Current flow is better in a conductor like copper wire compared to aluminium wire. The unit of resistance is the ohm represented by the Greek letter omega. Now, let's find the relationship between electric current, voltage and resistance through a simple experiment. What do you notice about the brightness of the bulb when we increase the number of batteries?
The bulb glows brighter after the addition of each battery. So, as voltage increases, the current also increases. In other words, voltage is directly proportional to the current. Let's do another experiment. Consider a circuit with two bulbs. Bulb A has a resistance of 100 ohms and bulb B has a resistance of 200 ohms. Switch on the circuit. Now observe the brightness of the bulbs. Note that bulb B glows brighter than A. Also, the voltmeter across bulb A shows a smaller reading than bulb B. We can conclude that the higher the resistance, the higher the voltage. In other words, voltage and resistance are directly proportional. Mathematically, voltage is equal to current times resistance. This equation states that when current or resistance increases, the voltage also increases. Moreover, we can use this equation to find one unknown quantity if the other two quantities are known. Now, it's time for an exercise. Take a minute to solve this question. Let's solve. The reading on the screen of the ammeter indicates that the current across circuit is 3 amperes. The reading on the voltmeter shows a voltage of 12 volts. To find resistance, Let's write the formula first. By rearranging the formula, we see that resistance equals voltage over current. Now, by putting the values in the formula and calculating the result, we get a resistance of 4 ohms. To summarize, an ammeter is used to measure current in a unit called the ampere. A voltmeter is used to measure voltage in volts. Resistance is a hindrance to the flow of current and is measured in ohms. The relationship between the three quantities shows that when current or resistance increases, the voltage also increases.